No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey, this is Charles Hain here at NAB Show 2018. I'm at the DJI booth with the product manager from DJI, uh, Paul Pan. So, Paul, you got a couple new control systems out yep. for the Ronin system today that you're going to be showing me. Yep, exactly. Um, so when we launched Ronin 2, um, the users that received them, they started to see all the different kinds of use cases. They were asking for a much higher level control accuracy. And, you know, that's when we, we, we had this, this comes with the Ronin 2, but this is something that satisfied most users, but it's just basic joystick control. This is where we ended up today with the master wheels. Awesome, very cool. A very familiar feeling, right? Like if you've ever used a gear head, you got a left gear and a back gear. Yep, exactly. So what we wanted to replicate with this was something that was familiar to people that are in the industry that have been using wheels, and then we turn it into a, a sophisticated system that's able to wirelessly control our gimbals. Awesome, very cool. So walk me through some of the features. Okay, so we have, this is a three axis system right here. You'll see the roll axis is detached uh, because when we were building the system, we threw the system uh, to a group that were doing car shots, car to car, or just mounted in a car. And this system, once it's uh, mounted, it's kind of long, and so it's right up in your chest. So what we did was we made the system modular, allowing you to detach the wheels, mount the base on the seat next to you or on the ground, and then now you can mount these wheels so that they're not in your way. Um, this also allows you to go from, say, a two-axis system to a three-axis system as well. If we're trying to shoot something and, and we're on a gimbal, right, we want to make sure the horizon is level. And I was, like, I was saying, okay, now, why would you ever want that horizon off-level? Why would you want to offset it? And now imagine you're shooting on an incline. You're incline and you want that horizon to look level. And now you're doing take after take, you're resetting. Every time you reset, you have to make sure the horizon looks level. And so this simple little dial, this simple, simple little feature is just something that based out of experience, that's brought up through experience. And this, these set of wheels, the, the main idea behind it is it's developed in the field on, from the experience of the users. So that's one thing, but all the basics, let's go over the basics here. You have speed control of the wheels, you'll be able to adjust direct. These are all actually dials and switches. They're not in the menu system. This allows a much quicker access to save time, to save going, making the system complex. And that's exactly why we also did, we did add smoothing, we added all of this so that, you know, sometimes you want that shot to suddenly stop, you want that shot to come to a slow ramp down. We added that as a dedicated dial as well. Uh, besides that, uh, we have three customizable buttons for quick shortcuts so that you don't have to look down into the menu, you can dive into the menu, you can make changes. You just feel here, one, two, three. Um, we also added a standard reset, recenter button, which recenters all the axes, the record button for supported cameras through our gimbal, and uh, you'll see here the dedicated acceleration dials. Now, what these do is, let's say you're you're, you're panning, you're, you're trying to get a slow, nice shot, you're zoomed in on the face, and then as they pass by the camera, suddenly you need to speed up. But then you, you don't, you're not turning this wheel really fast trying to speed up, you just add acceleration. So the faster you turn, the faster the gimbal moves. Oh, that's really cool. And then this looks like the Ronin menu, so you can control all of your Ronin menu controls remotely with this center portion? Yep, exactly. So we have the wheels control, so all the wheel settings are here, and then we have our gimbal control, which depending on what gimbal you're hooked up to, because these wheels, they don't only control the Ronin 2, they also control our Ronin S, plus it's also capable of controlling our X7, X5S on our drone. The, the pilot will fly the aircraft, you have your gimbal operator, operating the camera on the Inspire 2. Oh wow, that is a whole lot of functionality popped into one box. Is it shipping now? It is not shipping now. We're planning to start shipping in June of this year. Price and point? The price is going to be 8,000 for the three axis system. It comes with a Pelican style case. It comes with all the cables. And uh, it's gonna be 6,000 for the two axis system, which allows you to later upgrade if you want to the three axis. Awesome. Well, Paul, thank you so much. I really right. appreciate right. that.
So this has been Charles Hayden for No Film School, looking at the master wheels from DJI at NAB Show 2018, uh, nofilmschool.com. Thank you.